Hello, people from the internet. This is Mr. Pro Lee. Today, I'm going to teach you guys about how to determine if a function is odd, even, or neither. If f of negative x equals to negative f of x, then the function is an odd function. If f of x equals to f of Negative x, then the function is an even function. If the function does not satisfy any conditions listed above, then the function is neither even nor odd. Your teachers may told you to substitute x and compare the solution to determine the results. Uh, that's not an interesting way. However, you have a much easier way, easier, easier way to determine if a function is even, odd, or neither. Two ways to determine them is to substitute a number and comparing and comparing them in graphs. Now we are going to take a look at the even function. The first way to sub is to substitute the number. The function y equals to x squared is the first example. Assume that the number is one. According to f of x equals to f of negative x, we substitute 1 to y over y equals to x squared and we will obtain 1. We substitute 1 to negative x, then the answer is 1. Since 1 equals to 1, therefore f of x equals to f of negative x, the function is determined even. Another way to finish it is by looking at its graphs. The graphs of even function reflects over the y-axis. The graph of y equals to x squared is like this. I'm sure you have seen this before. If we flip the function over the y-axis, the two parts will cover each other, which proves that y equals to x squared is an over even function. This this is a fun part about this kind of questions. <sighs> now we are going to look at the old functions. Substitute a number also helps. The function y equals to x to raised to the third is what we are going to talk about. According to f of negative x equals to negative f of x. If we took uh, if we take a look at f of negative x, we assume that the x is 1, then negative x equals to negative 1. Then we compute, then the answer is negative 1. Then, regarding to negative f of x, we substitute 1 to the function, 1 raised to the third is 1, then we apply the negative sign, it changes to negative 1. Negative 1 equals to negative 1. The previous one equals to the pre present one, then the function is old. We can also do this question by looking at its graphs. This is what the graph looks like. If we substitute the no, if we separate the function from the y-axis, there are two parts. If we rotate one of those two parts 180 degrees or pi in radians, they will cover each other. If we substitute the graph of y equals to x raised to the third and rotate. They will cover each other, which proves that y equals to x raised to the third is an old function. Now we are going to t take a look at the condition called neither. If we look at y equals to x plus 1 according to f of x e equals to f of negative x, f of 1 equals to f of negative 1 equals to 0, and 0 does not equal 2. Therefore, the function is not even. In addition, according to f of negative x equals to negative f of x, f of negative 1 equals to 0, and negative f of 1 equals to negative 2. Negative 2 does not equal to 0. Therefore, the function is not old. Since it's neither even nor old, the function is neither. Then, we can also look at the graph of the function. The graph is on your screen right now. The graph does not reflect over y-axis because if we flip them over the y-axis, they do does not cover each other. Therefore, it's not an even function.
Also, if we separate the function over y-axis and rotate one of the, these two parts with a degree of 180 to any direction, so it does not cover each other as well. Therefore, the function is not old. Since the function is neither even nor old, the function is neither. Oh, sadly, today's video coming to an end. I hope you learned something new to overcome your obstacles in math today. Thanks for watching. Please leave a thumb up and subscribe. I will see you next time. This is Mr. Pro Lee.